before we get into this video, this video is sponsored by Pro Guides. If you are dedicated to improving as a player, I highly recommend you check them out. And at the moment, they are holding a giveaway for four $50 RP cards and five one year Pro Guides memberships. So, link in the description if you want to enter that giveaway. And there is about two weeks left to enter, so don't forget to do it. Raise your weapon! Will spill. Run from me, cowards. Rest is for the living. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka the Lol Hounds, and today we are going to be looking at a Challenger Scion Main's full AD build that he often uses in Challenger himself. He plays on the OCE server, and you may have heard of his name before. He goes by the summoner name Tiltarelia. He currently has two accounts in Challenger. He does have a YouTube channel and a Twitch stream, so links in the description if you are interested in checking them out. This video is going to focus on his runes, masteries, item build, and skill order for his full AD sign. It looks really fun to play, to be honest, and obviously, it is somewhat viable as he has managed to make it work. So without further ado, Let's do this. Now, first of all, he plays Cyan mainly in the top lane, and the summoner spells he takes for AD Cyan is Flash and Ignite. He would only ever take TP instead of Ignite if he wants to play Tank Cyan, but with AD Cyan, he often looks for that early game kill to snowball his lane, and then hopefully the rest of his team as the game goes on. Runes and Masteries. For Masteries, he has two pages that he takes. Basically, they are exactly the same, except one he takes Storm Raider Surge, and the other he takes Thunder Lord's Decree. For the most part, Storm Raider Surge is the keystone he seems to prefer, but I guess if you want that extra bit of damage, rather than the move speed, you can use the Thunder Lord's page instead. As for his runes, he takes 9 Lethality Reds, 9 Scaling Health Yellows, 9 Scaling CDR Blues, and 3 Lethality Quints. He also sometimes uses a few Scaling Magic Resist Blues if he feels like he needs the extra Magic Resist against Magic Damage Champions or Team Comps. Now we'll move on to his item build. So his starting items would always be a Long Sword, 3 Health Pots, and a Yellow Trinket. As for his first back, if he manages to back with 1300 gold, he will get a BF Sword straight up. If not, he will look to get a Serrated Dirk or start building the components for the Serrated Dirk, which are Long Swords. His core build would be Ghost Blade into Dust Blade, followed by Edge of Night. So as you can see, it is another full Lethality build, which we are currently seeing a lot of thanks to the Lethality buffs a few patches ago. Sometimes he would get Dust Blade first if he does manage to get that BF Sword early on as I said before. The only boots he really goes with are Swifty Boots. After his core build, the items are then situational. An example of a final build would be Ghost Blade, Dust Blade, Edge of Night, Swifty Boots, More of Malmordius, and a Guardian Angel. Other items he would consider would be Black Cleaver vs Armor Stacking Champs, Sterix Gauge vs Heavy 80 Burst Champions, ZZ Rot Portal if he wants that extra lane pressure as he doesn't have TP, Mortal Reminder vs Healing Champs, and a Mercurial Scimitar for that QSS Active vs Heavy CC Champions. Here are some examples of build paths that he took in case you are interested. You guys can just pause the video to check them out. As for his skill order, he starts Q, then gets E level 2, W level 3, maxes Q first, W second, E third, and his ultimate whenever he can. And that pretty much does it for the build guide on his full AD, full Lethal Scion build. Looking at his playstyle from some of the games I spectated, level 1 he always looks for that Scion fully charged Q cheese that you can do while hiding in a brush. Usually because he plays in the top lane, he would wait in the top lane brush, the middle one, waiting for the enemy laner to appear before he tries to fully charge his Q up which will basically do half of their health if successful. He never leashes for his jungler if they start on the top side and I assume he tells them to start bot 
if possible. At every opportunity he gets throughout the game, he will always try and land a fully charged Q from out of the enemy's vision. For you guys who do not know, Science Q scales pretty well with AD and does 300% more damage when fully charged, which is absolutely insane. Apart from that, he just waits for his ultimate to be available to engage on a team fight and he always seems to surprise the enemy team with how much damage his passive can do. Anyway, that does it for the video. It looks like a lot of fun to play, so definitely try it out for yourself. Probably try it out in normals first, as it likely takes a few games to get used to AD Scion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A reminder that the giveaway is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, drop that like button. And as always, have a nice day.